This is Kevin with Atomic Filters, and today I'm going over the difference between a MERV 11 versus a MERV 16 filter. And MERV is the efficiency rating or the efficiency value. That number is a value, and it helps you compare filters. So MERV 11 is a very good value for a filter. Uh, MERV 8 is about the level that begins to protect air quality and MERV ratings go from 1 up to 16. So MERV 11 is usually sufficient for a lot of people with minor allergies or pets. Uh, if you want better air quality in your home, MERV 11 is also found in um, in very uh, high-end resident or um, commercial buildings as well. So to give you an idea, when we're talking about uh, MERV, which is uh, an acronym that stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value, we're talking about very small particles, uh, and we're measuring particles from 0.3 microns up to 10 microns. And those are the ones that we can breathe in, so that's what we're concerned about. So on the level of 3 to 10 microns, those are the larger particles like dust and pollen, uh, MERV 11 will filter about 85% of those particles. And when you go to the smaller particles um, up from 1 to 3 microns, and those can be things like uh, pet dander and things like that that can cause issues for allergies, uh, that'll MERV 11 will filter 65% of those particles. And then when you go to the very smallest particles, such as um, fine pet dander, for instance, uh, or even smoke, um, those are from 0.3 to 1 microns. Uh, MERV 11 will filter out about 20% of those particles. So that means every time the air passes through, it'll filter out a minimum level of those percentages or greater. Uh, so when you go to MERV 16, you're going to get much higher um, filtration. So if you have severe allergies or respiratory issues, MERV 16 is going to be the highest level uh, that you can get. So a lot of times people will talk about MERVs, higher MERVs can be restrictive. When you get into deep pleated filters uh, like these, rather than a one inch filter, they're a lot less restrictive. And the way that these filters are designed, you can see this has uh, much larger pleats and this has a medi um, mini pleat. This is actually designed so that it has a, as low resistance as this filter right here. So they're both very low resistance and you could use either one that you wanted. But this will filter 95% of all three of those different particle ranges, 3 to 10, 1 to 3 microns, and 0.3 to 1 microns. So this is going to be a superior filter and this is what I would choose if I wanted to protect myself against allergies. You can check them out at Atomic Filters.